recently involved in a project. Justice Department needed to construct some prisons. They needed prison beds very quickly, so they came to the market looking for, looking for the market to give them some solutions. We were able to come up with a process where some of the design innovations we put forward was a combination of off-site manufacturing, different elements of prefabrication close to the site to stick build on the site and put it together in a multitude of combinations to give them the shortest possible program, delivering a project worth in excess of $180 million in 54 weeks. The project finished on time and on budget and everyone was very happy at the end of the day. The challenge of the industry is it's always been very price driven and I think when we look at the industry, whether it's at the client level, the contractor or the subcontract level, pricing becomes important. And I think it's really easy to get caught up on um, if something's the best price, that's therefore the best solution. But often what we find and what history has always proven is that the, the best price at the start of the job isn't usually the best price at the end of the job. And the reality is that every project is really different in one way or in another. So the solution you used on the previous project may not actually work on the next one. So you, you can't just repeat what you've seen before, you actually have to think, of, think about what you're doing going forward and make it slight adjustments. If I look around, most organisations wouldn't even have an R&D or an innovation budget. It's a relatively small amount of money to invest into the university that the university is going to invest in coming up with smart solutions for the construction industry. Anything that an individual organisation can do will pale into insignificance to what the university can do with the pool of funds. As a contractor, we get to be involved in where the money's spent and how it gets spent. We're part of the process for what gets looked at, and it's a way that we can actually increase the knowledge of the entire industry. So I, I argue, it, but why wouldn't you do it? We are looking for people all the time, and ultimately we want highly intelligent, highly motivated people. We've got a lot of work to do, and we've got a lot of work for them to go and get done. Certainly in my experience is the industry has rewarded those who have been prepared to take on responsibility and accountability in delivering projects. And if we have fantastic young cadets who are interested in taking something on, we'll give them the opportunity to run with it. We want people who can take on elements of work and actually show us what they can do.